Wonder Woman 3 dead at DC? Warner Brothers isn't moving forward with it? Gal Gadot just said it was. What is going on at DC? Let's go! Greetings, friends. I am the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I am here to talk about DCU. What is going on? We literally just heard Gal Gadot while she's doing a press release for Stoneheart or whatever that new movie she has going on on Netflix. She just said Wonder Woman 3 was underway. What, or not underway, but under development with Peter Safran and James Gunn. What in the world is going on? I guess this is why you don't hire people who don't know what they're doing to be CEOs of stuff. Let's get into it. Looks like Variety is breaking this. And if you know anything about Variety, it is a show magazine for the insiders. The insiders release this stuff when they want to discourage anything from coming out or they want to change the narrative that's going on out there. So you have Gal Gadot pulling a Henry Cavill. She goes out, she's doing press releases, she's talking about a movie she's working on, she's like, I heard I'm working on Wonder Woman 3. I'm pretty sure I heard Henry Cavill say, like, guess what, everybody, I'm Superman. And they're like, nah. James Gunn even announced that there was going to be a Themyscira-type show, streaming show, on Max. And uh, although that's supposedly before the birth of Wonder Woman, which doesn't sound that interesting... But let's get into the article. Let's see what their news is. Wonder Woman 3 won't fly in the new DC Universe despite Gal Gadot teasing development plans. This is an exclusive. So that means it came from one of them producers or one of those executives at Warner Brothers. And what Warner Brothers has is an executive problem. They have people who like to meddle. Why bother hiring James Gunn and Peter Safran if you're going to have executives who undermine everything that they do? This sounds like a Walter Hamada uh, scenario where there are people behind the scenes getting rid of the Snyder Cut or not liking what they're seeing or meddling with uh, all the different various things, letting Black Adam blow up and do all those other stuff. Very interesting. Despite comments from Gal Gadot claiming the DC heads James Gunn and Peter Safran told her they would develop Wonder Woman 3 together, sources with knowledge of the situation tell Variety that is not the case. According to the sources, a third Wonder Woman film is not in development at DC Studios, nor do Gunn and Safran have plans at this time for any Wonder Woman project in the new DC universe other than their previously announced Paradise Lost prequel sequel for Max. First of all, that sounds like a total fail. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Nobody wants to see Paradise Lost. Nobody wants to watch Themyscira. It's not interesting. Nobody cares. It's not, don't waste your time. But what this seems like to me is the DC studio heads are saying, hey, James Gunn, Peter Safran, let's reel everybody in. You announce the slate. You're sticking to it. These other random projects, nah, they ain't happening. What in the world is going on at DCU? This is a disaster as far as I'm concerned. There's been nothing other than disappointment, disaster, and failure coming from James Gunn and Peter Safran ever since they took over. And I know they're rebooting the whole thing, but it sure looks like Blue Beetle is going to be a gigantic box office bomb. I'm going to go see it. I'm going to tell you what I thought. And I think it seems good. I really like the star. I think he's great for Karate Kid. But this all seems like a super, super disaster. So Gal Gadot suggested that it might not be... Wonder Woman 3 might not be fully dead. She goes, I love portraying Wonder Woman. It's so close to and dear to my heart. From what I heard, James Gunn and Peter, is that we're going to develop a Wonder Woman 3 together. She's claiming she heard this directly from the two co-CEOs. Yet now, sources are leaking that this isn't going to happen, which makes me think it's not going to happen because they already did it to Henry Cavill. Why is this going on? You literally have two of the biggest stars on Earth, Gal Gadot and Henry Cavill. You had Ben Affleck. You dumped him too. We're talking A-listers here. Now, I understand the studios and, and all of Hollywood seems to be under duress. There's a writer's strike going on. There's an actor's strike going on. 
and you know, there's a whole revolt over AI and all this other craziness is going on. I get all that. And I get it is far cheaper to pay new stars who don't have any don't have any clout and can't demand big big box office, you know, they can't you can't offer them 10 million dollars to be in a, in a movie or whatever. Maybe that's their their what their idea, what they're thinking is that they cannot offer these big stars what they think they're going to offer them. Maybe that's the thinking. I don't know. I know James Gunn isn't the money guy. I know Saffron's the money guy. James Gunn is the idea guy. She claims she was invited to a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Saffron. And what they told me, and I'm quoting, you're in the best hands. We're going to develop Wonder Woman 3 with you. We love you as Wonder Woman. You've got nothing to worry about, so time will tell. And I think that's super strange. You know, it didn't make a lot of sense that they were going to keep her on just like they're they're supposedly keeping on uh, Aquaman. I just, th- this seems like a bad plan. Like, is this a hard reboot? Is this a soft reboot? No one seems to understand. It seems to be hurting the box office. Flash clearly bombed. What do you guys think? Is this something you want to see? Do you, obviously after Patty Jenkins left and she's not in, she's not in it anymore and, and she clearly bombed with Wonder Woman 84. This is very strange cuz I recall very clearly that James Gunn announced there was going to be a Themyscira prequel series called Paradise Lost. Saffron described as Game of Thrones Game of Thrones ish story set on the island of Themyscira. Don't care. What a waste of money. Don't don't waste your money. Please don't. In fact, save your money and hire Gal Gadot. You know, she's probably got like one or two more like, you know, she's got a couple of years left in there. You could still use her. If not, reboot the whole thing, trash it, but get your story straight. You cannot have the press leaking these kind of things it shows dissent it shows that you're undermining the two ceos clearly you're sending mixed signals out there the fans don't know what to expect nobody understands what's going on and with the disappointment that's happening with henry cavill and now potentially disappointment with gal gadot you're gonna lose a lot of fans is this the death of the superhero genre who knows let me know what you think in the comments below i would love a dialogue about this this is do you trust what James Gunn and Peter Safran are doing? Do you think they're being undermined by their higher ups? Because they're only the CEOs of DC. Warner Brothers Discovery is a much bigger company. There's a handful of people who corporately report in between those people. Are they releasing these stories to undercut those guys, to kind of put them back on track, tell them, no, this is what we're doing? You announced the, the slate, don't veer from it. Very curious, very confusing. Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, be sure to check out our full-length audio podcast. You can hear it for free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. Search for Our Reviews Will Kill You. You can also check out our live stream here Friday nights on YouTube. Our current host, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. And we also show up on Rumble. Check it out there, too, if you want. Wherever you want us, we're there for you because we love y'all. But I'm on to the next one.